Alright. Walk well, on, you got the turtleneck on. Walk well, on. You know this. This is no, inside, turtleneck inside. <laughs> yeah, listen, hey man, hey, I below here, I'm in my boxes and that. Listen, man, <laughs> oh, this, oh, nah, this guy. Man, it's like the, the interview, feel me? Do you know the how top, funny he was? The top half. The top. <laughs> <laughs> you got socks on? Nothing. This, this is all I have on, man. I'm looking box at. I listen. You're done. The I am next to. <laughs> You're a big man. <laughs> All right. The I am next show. We're here with Kadiata, myself, Mr. I am next, and the Shauna Rose. And yes, quarantine. The one and only. Coronavirus. What are you saying, Kadiata? How are you doing? Coronavirus. Walk on. Uh, you good? We're yeah. Out good. Here. You come in. We're living here. We're living life. Mm. Land this I... summer. Mm. It's out now. Trust me, it's that exciting, dropped like exciting time. days ago. It's out now, yeah, it's out now. Still dropped on Friday. Was it Friday the third? Yeah. yeah. But it's out, baby. It's out. How are you feeling? You feel good? I feel good, you know, still I feel good. Um I feel like now obviously it's only been like what three days or some shit. Mm. Yeah. But um I just feel like my story's out. You get me, and that's a very, that's an extremely good feeling. Do you get me? So it's like, obviously, God forbid anything happened to me today, my mm. stories. Uh, do you get what I mean? Like, no, I feel you. So you put something out that people so can relate. Like, yeah, to that's find out more about you. Yeah, exactly. I put something out that people can relate to. Something out that, um, that people can identify me for. Do you get me? Something that proper just shows who I am as a person. Mm-hmm. I feel like. Yeah, I feel pretty good about it still. It's something you're proud of at the end of the day as well. Yeah, facts. Yeah, therefore, because it's like, it's one of one, like, do you get me? Obviously, that I'm going to make four more or whatever, but it's one of one, like, it's like, it's like, yeah, fucking, the only thing that sounds like this project is this, do you get me? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, this, yeah. And, and that's something to be proud of as well, you get me? I didn't copy nobody's blueprint. Mm. You get me? It's just man, like do you get me? So yeah, I'm and you of that still. and you haven't dropped a project in three years, correct? Yeah. So like basing it from uh blind blind this summer. What's the difference between blind this summer and uh don't tell me please? Like what's the difference between both caddiatas? Because obviously you've grown in three years as an individual as a human being, but musically, what would you say the mm-hmm. difference is? Uh, musically, so I feel like at the time when I made Don't Tell Me Please, I was still trying to like, um, I was still trying to find, can I say find my sound? Yeah, I was still more or less trying to find my sound, trying to find where I sit within all of this, do you get me? But I just felt like um, I wanted to do a project just so people can kind of know I can conceptually put something together, do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. But at the same time with that, I feel like that was kind of um it was kind of rushed in a sense, do you get me? Because um I don't know, just just by how things was going, I was so eager to get something out. Um but I don't feel like it was ready as well. And I and I knew it wasn't ready at the time because there were certain songs that I couldn't put on there because of sample clearance and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. But um I was just proper keen to do it. But obviously I learned my lesson and that's why it's taken three so years for me to put out the next one. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. So now you lot are hearing this, like whether you like it or not, n- nobody can tell me that this isn't a Cardio. polished and well thought out piece of work. Do you get what I mean? No, facts. Hundred percent. Yeah. Big facts. So. In fact, mm-hmm. um, obviously, we mm-hmm. know that Blind, Sum- Blind This Summer is based around like that carefree, ignorant feeling of, you know, the summertime. Mm-hmm. Um, do, is that why you've released it at this time of the year? So obviously, it's like pre-summer. Everyone's getting ready for that kind of vibe. Um, yes, but I'd be lying if I said that. Um, <laughs> I planned it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you get me? Nah, because you you know what it is it was always it was always the plan. The plan was to always let it live in the summer. But yeah. um I don't know, I just feel like the way things just came together and aligned, um, I just found myself here at dropping at this time. You know what? I was even gonna postpone it because right. of Why? All the because of all the COVID shit and rare to tear, like when, when the okay. COVID shit was first happening and that, um, you could have never been the topic of conversation. Do you get me? Yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah, of course. When it, when it was, and that's when I dropped Baby Girl. So I've dropped Baby Girl. This COVID shit is going crazy. And I'm thinking, mm, people mm. are sleeping and people are sleeping and everything. Should I drop the project now? Or But what I didn't realize is in this day and age, people move on so quick yeah 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 Yeah. because attention span is so short like something will be but not even not even the attention span it's just people just move on like a a a good example of that is kobe do you get me for me like i still think about kobe sometimes like kobe like that like in school like man you know you know when you throw the ball and that and that's the name you would shout dog that's what i'm you get me so in my head i'm still thinking kobe but just deep in like everybody you kind of just realize like everybody's moved on now. Do you get yeah. it? And not not in a bad way, but it's just the way society it's just is the today, world so. moves quick now. Yeah. yeah, yeah and even like even like the this coronavirus thing in general, it was like it first came about and everyone was going everyone was like thinking about it, it was on the top of everyone's heads. But I feel like now, I don't know, for me personally anyway, I've been at home for a little while and I, I'm not gonna lie, a part of me forgot that if I go outside, I might die. Yeah. Mm. You know the ones like I've just. I get what you're saying. Doing, I, get, I get what you're saying. I've just I adapted. Feel like, yeah, you, 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 you. Re- it, it's like a part of you now. But I feel like exactly. you're always gonna be reminded about it because of social media and television, etc. Do you get what I mean? So you yeah. can't really forget about but, it. But, but no, no, for true. But the seriousness of it and that has changed do you get me so yeah it's, so it's it was only it was only a week of proper oh shit everyone's dying it was only a week of that and then the week after or even a few days after we're doing kick-ups with toilet tissue and we're doing makeup yeah. challenge true. Exactly. okay do you true, get what i mean true, exactly. true do you get what i mean so it's always like i'm not saying it's it's still not there and the kobe thing is still there as well do you get me mm-hmm. but i'm just saying the way people move on from something new is always going to come and yeah take their attention. i didn't Exactly. I didn't realize that. So I was going to push back the project. But then after I, after it finally clicked in my head, I was like, hold on. And I was like, mm. you know what? I'm just going to drop it now and see what happens. So because I feel like everyone's going to be bored in like a week. Mm. Do you get me? And I feel like that's that's what's happened still. <laughs> no, fire. Fire. How yeah, did I, you how did you feel about postponing the headline show? Um I did. I didn't feel bad. I felt quite good to do it because I'd done it before we was on, before we was on lockdown. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? I'd done it as a. I don't want to put any of my fans and my supporters in at risk. Mm. Do you get me? Yeah. And and if it's not them, it could be their nans or their families. Do you get me? And I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, of course. Do you get me? It's mm. not like, like bro. I'll go out, bro. Listen, if you, <laughs> you know, what I mean? yeah, I feel you. Man will take risks, but I don't want other people to take risks on my behalf. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So I was yeah. like, you know what? It's fine. Do you get me? There's gonna be there's gonna be a time where it's gonna be right. Do you get me? No, what, like I said, it's like one thing I learned from the other product I dropped is everything will come at the exact time that it needs to come. Do you get me? So mm. yeah, I didn't really feel bad. Uh, I. I've started feeling bad lately. Not not actually not not bad, but I've started feeling like ah oh, man lately because I've dropped yeah. the project and I've seen the way people are responding to it, and I'm like ah mm-hmm. oh, if, if the show was still on, this would have been, um, been epic. <laughs> Get me, but, but do you know yeah. I feel as well? It give, it gives the fans time to really digest and learn the the project mm-hmm. from track one to the end. That's, Do you get what I mean? That's what I was saying to you the other day. And I was like, people are going to be able to come to your headline show, know, know the tape word for word, and yeah. really, yeah. like, really enjoy it with you now. Dan, you know it be, oh, so oh, let me quickly digest describe. this. Um... No, facts. Yeah, no, definitely still. You're right. Yeah. Why, why the well, name Blinded Summer? This. So, Blinded Summer, so like Lashona said, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I do, isn't it? Go on, you no, know, it's, it's like, yeah, so plan, so plan this summer is literally just like in the summertime. Well, this is what something I felt, and I feel like other people can relate to it as well. But mm. tell me if I'm wrong, innit? But plan this summer is like whenever summer comes, there's just a lot more. A lot more uh you're a lot more ignorant to your responsibilities you want to have a lot more fun you mm. take um you explore a little bit more do you get me in this case is exploring the where things can go with this girl do you get me so mm. yeah. you, so sometimes i might be like sometimes i might be like Nah, I'm just trying to run through all these things. Do you get me? But um, <laughs> <laughs> such a but, dog, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay. And you can hear it on the tape. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what it is. You know what it is. So sometimes it it, it might be that, or it has been that in the past. Mm. But then sometimes I don't know. Summer will come, and you'll be like, you know what? I don't care. That you get me. So that's why that's why it's called blind in summer because you're you're blind to everything that could happen and whatever you're just going you're just going into somewhere so with this project it's like the skits is basically me being blind and blah 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 but then the music itself is showing you where i'm at after doing that yeah yeah, yeah. okay you get me so i'll yeah. so i'll i'll be like oh baby yeah you, blah 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 you get me we'll be having smooch and convos and that and proper warm convos but then in the music i'm like delete my number no yeah, yeah, delete my number and know this, know that, and blah blah yeah. blah. And I'm saying this is where it can take you. Do you get me? I'm not mm. saying that's the it can happen to air. I'm not saying it will happen to everyone, but I'm saying that's what happened to man. <laughs> <laughs> delete my number. <laughs> Come on, girl. Uh, there's some Come hits on there, man. What was it about your friend Hannah who um did? the skits with you on Blindness Summer, what was it about her voice that thought, that you thought matched the sound of the EP? That I thought matched the sound of the EP? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, there was no mad thought, thought process behind that. Um, mm-hmm. I literally just went on Instagram and said, any actresses with a sexy voice, with a, a very, very <laughs> nice voice, and that. <laughs> yeah, man. And then... um. I think like two people hit me back and um, it didn't work out with them. And Hannah um, shouted me as well, so three people in total. And yeah. when Hannah got, so when these two people um, started giving, saying blah, 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 as I say, I wasn't completely sold. Mm. And then as soon as Hannah got back to me, I was like, of course. Mm. It makes yeah. sense. You know that, you know that feeling that, like, it makes sense because yeah, yeah, yeah. Hannah's like um, Hannah's someone that I've known for a while. But um, so it's an interesting, it's a very interesting story. I said it yesterday on on the ground. But um, I know her for her music, innit? Mm. I know her for her music. I, I think her music's sick. Do you get me? Obviously, I I feel like she needs to release more and be more consistent and blah 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 with the But um, ever since. Ever since I came across her, I just thought she was sick, so I followed her and blah blah blah. But you get me, and it's just been it's just been a a, a relationship that's just been there. Do you get me? Yeah. But then um, I forgot that she was an actress as well. But then as she's reminding me, I was like, of course, because you was on Hood documentary with R S yeah. and that. Do you get me? So, yeah. so as she hit my knock, I was like, this makes so much sense. And now it's like, we can develop that relationship. Um, both, yeah. uh, uh, wait, what do you call it? Uh, Active society and we can, we can develop, <laughs> <laughs> we, can, <laughs> we can develop that relationship, both um, acting wise and music yeah. as well. You get what I mean? So th- th- this was a sick way to, to develop that relationship. So now I feel like she knows me more. She knows my music. Mm-hmm. And as we was recording the dialogue, I got to hear more of her music. And um, she was yeah. just perfect. Like her voice. The, the, the one thing that I, I was a bit concerned about is when I wrote the Portuguese bit, uh, Camarão que dorme on the lever, mm. she, yeah. 
I forgot that she was Brazilian. Oh, wow. so she could literally just say it. Yeah. She could so everything just, just made sense. Yeah, but it was, but it was like. But she's not meant to sound know. like she can. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so she weren't meant to. So, but I was like, okay, but, but don't do it so well, though. Do you get me? But she, <laughs> <laughs> she, but she patterned it though, still. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, she fine. She actually made it sound like she doesn't know it for real. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah, I was literally just gonna say seven tracks, Go on. no features. How come you decided to really just uh put make it all not I wouldn't say make it all about yourself, but you've worked with a lot of amazing artists, um, produced and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. How comes it was a decision where you're like, I don't really need or want anyone on this project. Um, there was one, ma- there was a few reasons. Mm. So the first reason and the most important reason was, um, it's been a while since my last EP and my last EP was good, but I've done so many important things after that EP that you get me, I've, I've gained so many more fans, um, after that EP and done so many like made so many pivotal moves that i felt like was a reset do you get me so when i dropped art holes Mm -hmm. followed by on tap followed by when the sun comes out i felt personally like okay this is a reset do you get me this is a we're going in this direction everybody do you get me Mm. so so if you listen to don't tell me please it was like a it, it was a lot more artistic, a lot more left. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. Obviously, yeah, it's, it's still, don't get me wrong, it's still very artistic. I'm sure you could probably hear, but you get me? So when I dropped Art Holes on tap and when the sun comes out, it was more like a, okay, let me be more digestible. Let me be more, um, let me play with sounds that people are already kind of familiar with. Okay. Um, but obviously, I'm still doing it in my own way. I'm still creating my own thing, but just mm-hmm. with a lot more familiarity. Do you get me? So once I've done that, I felt like this was a reset. So in my head, it was like, okay, this is going to be my debut again. Do you get me? Yeah. So in my head, I'm still seeing this as this is Caliota's debut. Do you okay. Get me? So you were basically yeah. keeping it very, like, very, very still, like, uh, left field, but very more, like, digestible and caddy art like you just kept your stamp on it even though you not i want to say dumbed it dulled it down from the project before but just simplified it is that right simplified that's 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 the perfect way i simplified it Mm. and i also just like i also just found um what it is that that makes me get gassed in music do you get me And 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 the answer to that is um I love fusing shit together. Do you get me? Yeah, I really like fusing shit together. So in in art holes, it was a it was a kind of what was it like a uh, what's that word? A soundscape? Is it a soundscape? It was like a soundscape kind of sounds like proper like um, lush synths, but then mixed with that ratchet mm. kind of. Yeah, you get me that ratchet kind of. Um, deep pattern. Yeah, born. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That, and then on tap was like um, the eighties, nineties house mixed with Afro swing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You get me? And um, and then when the sun comes out, it's just like uh, uh it's got it's got like elements of uh, elements of like old school dance hall in there, um, mixed with like I don't know whatever it is. But yeah, so I've. <laughs> But I found this is what I like to do, and I've and I've done that so many times. You get me? I've done that with Rack Up. I've done that with Masterpiece. Mm. It's night time. I've done like I've done that so many times, and so so like I said, after that point, everything clicked, and I was like, okay, this is a reset. This is what I like to do. This is where we're gonna go. So that's the reason why I didn't put no features on my team. Let me move this. Yeah, that's the reason why I didn't put no features on my team because um, it was. I I didn't want to um. I didn't want to bite off anybody as mm. well. Do you get me? I didn't want to bite no light off anybody. I just wanted the, my existing fans to know this is what I do. And this is where you're at. This, yeah, if you come here, you're coming here for me and me only. Do you get me? Mm. 
the yeah. next one we, we're gonna we're gonna dibble and dabble in that stuff but right now as in my head it's my debut you're coming in for me do you get me yeah and, yeah, if, you, and if you fuck and if you fuck with the project you fuck with the project because of me not because yeah 100 whoever's on it do you get what i mean so that was the first reason the second reason is because um a lot of people a lot i don't know if it's a lot of people but i i started hearing because i was doing a lot of production i started hearing a lot uh kadiata's more of a producer or kadiata's mm. a better producer than he is an artist so um i felt like it was pivotal for me to show people that i can make a project that's not even produced by me i only produced one song you get mm. me? i can make a project that's not even produced by me and it's a work of art. Do you get me? I'm an artist, bro. Like, you get me? People, yeah. people need to... Digest this. <laughs> yeah. Like, they need to get to know. So who produced... Nice teeth and discover... No, go on. Who produced the, um, the tracks? <laughs> oh, the scam. Um, <laughs> um, who produced the tracks? So basically, it was... Shout, big shout out to Michelin Shin. I feel like he was, like, basically man of the match. Do you get me? So um <laughs> so he um he executively produced the whole EP, do you get me? Okay. So, so um he produced four of the songs, which was uh Pray for Me, Baby Girl, 99 Ways and Blind Side. Do you mm-hmm. get me? So he, he arguably produced the majority of the album. Yeah, he the produced tape. the majority. The yeah. spine of it, the spine of the project. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, he produced the spine. And also as I produced delete my number and as new machine produced um lifestyle and as akari produced hold me back um obviously i was executive producing it as well just because i am a producer yeah so um the only the only wait yeah but shin um got all of those songs and made it have a particular sound throughout you get me obviously it's so many different genres but the way he mixed it was like yeah, like this is all yeah, part yeah. of one thing. Do you get what I mean? Like, so it doesn't mm. sound like it's from different projects. Like, you can tell. Yeah, cool. Yummy. You know I mean? But then, um, myself, obviously, I produced "Delete My Number," and I had a lot of input in some of the other songs. So, um, "Blindside," um, and "Baby Girl," I produced like the first melody. Um, yeah, I produced the first melody, and then Shin built around that, and then okay. he, you get me. So he produced it, but I. I um, started it off type thing, just so it's like Kadiata still, do you get me? Do you and think, then, you, oh, go on, Karen. And then um, Sakari um, with Hold Me Back, he produced that, but then um, I think I've done some of the bass. I think, yeah, I think I've done the bass and I played the outro at the end of the uh, electric piano solo. Okay. Um, what, did you put the bass in like with an actual bass guitar? Or what, did you no, 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 I just played it in still, yeah. Okay. I can't play. I can't play anything. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I know. This guy, this guy is standing up by a bridge, pl- trying to play guitar and music. Yeah. Music. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I can so play, play bass guitar though. I can play okay. bass guitar. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but even even bass, it's like I can't play. But, I can but you can play definitely. like just basics and that. Yeah, I can find my way around. I can play. I can play you basics, but what I do in the computer will make it better than anything now. But. Mm. <laughs> But now flipping um so <laughs> but now so basically um yeah and then uh ninety nine ways I didn't touch um a guy called Bradders played the guitar and then Michelin built around those and um what what other songs did I say and then pray for me um Shin just done that and then uh, new machine um he just done lifestyle so and I just jumped on it you get me so yeah so yeah yeah that's what fire see so. <laughs> I was, I was gonna say do you think that you could have made blind this summer three years ago i could have but it wouldn't have been as good as it is now and yeah if i'm if i'm honest you see the skits at the end i don't yeah. even know if i should call it skits because it's it's an audio film you're gonna call it your audio yeah. film yeah yeah. It's an audio film because I had this idea. Especially, I don't know if you remember when we was in um, we was in Germany and I had that performance. Yeah, yeah. When the lady interviewed me, she said, "What's coming up next?" I said to her, "Listen, I've got 
concepts of art that don't even exist yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I remember that. Do you remember me saying yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even got it, it recorded. It. It's there. You got it recorded, yeah. Yeah. So this is it. This is one of those concepts of art that nobody's touched yet. Nobody has done audio films like that. Do you get me? And, I, mm. and the, the way I got that idea was because I used to listen to a lot of audio books at the time. Do you get mm. me? And I remember I was that so as well. Engaged. Yeah, I was so engaged with the audio books. I was like. If I can be engaged with just an audio book of people just reading off a thing, it's not a proper actual dialogue or whatever, then that means if I do find time to get me do my research on what makes good dialogue and blah, 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 and proper just learn about that, then I feel like I can make a good audio film. So the way I introduced it, it took me a while to, to, um, to think Figure of how I'm going to introduce it, yeah. But then once I did, I was like, okay, cool, I'm going to put it in the music and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a story um, underlying a project and then obviously this is what I've done now um, people people fuck with it so next up we're going to finish the story blah 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 and then after that we're going to see where I can take the concept of audio films in general do you get me so I might mm. just make an mm. audio film and see who engages with that but we'll see so so, t- so to you what makes a good audio a good audio uh, film or a skit because you said you've done a lot of research to find out. So I, for me, I just feel like people will stand in front of a mic and just really have like a script and just read from it. But you've find, found a way to really um, make something very unique and very clear and paint a picture in the heads of the listener. So for you, what is what was it that is that was like, yeah, this is what makes a perfect audio uh, film? Um, so one, so the main thing for me was how do I make it natural? Mm. Do you get me? Mm. Because I feel like, I feel like as a person, um, I feel like I'm interesting enough. You get me? I, I, you get me? I, I explore a lot. You get me? I'm not just boxed in. So I'm interested enough to just have like whatever I think of and make it, you get me, make it engaging or whatever. But I just feel like, how do I make that? Um, natural, do you get me? And then I realised it's actually mad easy. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of people, a lot of people listen to this project and say, "Yeah, this is mad natural. How did you do that?" But it's only because I told a different story. Do you get me? Yeah. Mm. The the only reason it wouldn't be natural is if I told the same story as um as all these other people that are trying to make films. Do you get me? All these Bad man films and that. Like, yeah, 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 I feel you. Do you get on me? the block and stuff? Yeah, like it's like everybody tells the story. It's boring. Well, for me anyway, it's boring. Like, do you get me? It's boring. Do you get me? We know that shit happens. Blah blah blah. Cool. Do you get me? But I felt like it was important to tell my story. Do you get me? The shit that I come across every day and blah blah blah. And it was as it was literally as simple as paying attention to the conversations I'm having and creating dialogue around it. Do you get me? Mm. I was yeah, going to say, sure. do you think do you think people have picked up on the fact that, like, between every conversation that you have on within the skit, that you're dropping little gems about yourself between that time? So you're getting to know I who Kamala like, Terror is. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like yes, but indirectly. Do you get me? Yeah. yeah. It's not again, problems. when I was studying, when I was studying, um, like all of these films, about, all of these things about film. What makes good dialogue and X Y Z X Y Z? Um, I learned about I learned about show me, don't tell me. Do you get me? So when people, so if someone comes up to you, so if you're if you're seeing a film and they're like, oh, how was your day today? Yeah, my day was good, but yeah. I need to. Do you get what I mean? It's like yeah. no, it's, that's not how you do it. You're supposed to you're supposed to tell a story within things you don't say so ah uh, you're miss you're right yeah i'm fine what you're fine i can't chat to you for a second do you get what i mean yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she didn't say don't chat to me but through the dialogue I, she was blunt yeah, yeah. yeah you can tell you can tell exactly so that's what that's what makes good dialogue and, and stuff like that but um it's a it's a it's a it's something that um i still ain't mastered yet. i feel like i've got it right enough but i still i'm still learning and i'm still do you get me yeah, it's an art store. There's an art to it. No, oh, fire. Are the skits going to carry on throughout the next tapes? 
Um, I don't know. Still, uh, maybe, maybe. Mm. I think it would be good if you, if you, if you, if you continue. Like you can't it. just leave. Like don't, don't, don't leave us. Don't leave us just there. Like we want to know: Do they get married? Do they get you know, married? Like Can you are? Are? Can you <laughs> are? Married? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> he belongs to the streets. <laughs> streets. Jesus Christ! Everyone thinks I'm a J-Bag. I'm not actually a J-Bag. You are, man. Submit. I'm I'm not a listen, 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 even the bars, but you got to listen to the bars, here's what I say, what do I say, in, in, delete my number, I felt like every star sign, and then people stop there, and they're like, he's a J-bag, <laughs> bro, so, <laughs> what do I say after, I felt like every star sign, can't seem to ever find mine, got me another past time, just the past time, do you get what I mean, it's like, I'm telling, so I'm you just got a girl to pass time, yeah, so you're, you're basically, you're, you're basically a J-bag for the time being, yeah, you're just a no, J-bag, no, I said got me another past time as one girl, do you get me, that could okay. be friends with benefits, do you get what, like, like, people need to read between the, <laughs> the lies, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy, <laughs> He's out here. Out here. So what are you saying? I'm, what are you saying? After after quarantine, you're back on the streets. No, nah, but even but even before quarantine, like man went out here like that, bro. You get mm. me? Like, I, I I feel like if anyone knows as well, you know I was celibate between 2018 <laughs> and 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was yeah. celibate for a year. You know, man's not man's sensible. Like, you get me? You think man's the G in any joint? You must be mad. Oh, art holes, art holes. Huh? <laughs> but do you get why people think you're a hoe, Kadia? Do you get it? Like, you do you get it? No, okay, maybe the no, maybe I don't. Maybe just put Actually, oh, you know what? You know what? Say. I do, I do. I know why. It's because the way I portray myself is very sexy. Get me? I portray myself. <laughs> like, nah, you know Says what I mean? Face. I, portray <laughs> I portray myself like a sex symbol. You get me? I yes. portray myself like, like how no, not Prince. Like how you know that like how Nicki Minaj portrays herself. You don't think Nicki Minaj, you're yeah. a junge. You just yeah. think yeah, she's a symbol though. Like she's. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I feel mean, you. I feel man's, you. Man's not a junge. I'm just a symbol of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> but I, I, I think you. I think the beauty in um, blindness summer is obviously. The but beside it, besides it sounding so good, mm. like you, you're showing a different side of yourself as well. You're talking about things that you don't t- tend to talk about that often in your music, um, which I think is is lovely for your listeners to gain a gauge your understanding of you. Yeah, yeah. My my so, favorite one of my my I, one of the things that I see I love about the whole project from what I've heard is the blend of sounds. I feel like you really, as you were saying before, you've incorporated your rack ups, your um, songs with Masterpiece and et cetera, et cetera, and blended it in very well where, okay, you got maybe like a, a rock band song here, but you still got the, the guitars from um, your, your heritage and et cetera, et cetera. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, no, that was done, I think that was done very well to, to show your diversity. Therefore, still, yeah, I agree. So the thing is with me, I've always been struggling to, um, because I'm, I'm always gonna be the most versatile artist in the UK. I'm always gonna be that guy. Mm-hmm. But for me, it was just about searching how do I bring all of this versatility under one hat? Do you get me? Yeah. And I feel like I've, I've, I've finally found a way to do it in this project, and that's why it's now out. Do you get me? But if I wasn't <laughs> able to do it yet. I wouldn't have brought it out and I would just kept on finding the answers. Um, so yeah, man. Kaliara, thank you for sharing sharing your time and sharing your insight into the project. Shout out LaShawn and Rose, myself, Mr. I am next. Blind This Summer is out now. Make sure you go and check it out. Go listen. Go sure, go sure. go watch the audio books. You can't even watch them, but the the picture you paint it in your head. And yeah, man, like, subscribe, and share. And yeah, man, that's it. The I am next show. I'm not sure, baby. It's crazy.